Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm Buddy Says, and this is the testament of Sherlock Holmes. We have the carnival. What should we do next, Holmes? Uh, you know what? I don't remember what we're supposed to do next. Now let's take a look. Oh yeah, I did want to read those uh, notes. Let's read them now. Uh, there were two Hans's diary. Monday, 8th, uh... On the 8th, Moriarty is behind schedule. I've been waiting for two days now for the materials I need for my research to be delivered. I will have to get a move on if he wants me to take over uh, the work he has started. My patience has its limits. I have filled in my time by reorganizing this place. An old fair side show exhibiting monsters. I don't know if Moriarty is aware of the irony of the situation. To calm my impatience, they brought me a subject at the end of the morning. Dirty old tramp in good health. You will do. I'm going to test the last evolution of Moriarty's poison on him. That has fallen and the test is, is finished. We had to kill the subject. Hmm. There's a note from the Funfair's director. My friends, as you all know, next week our adventure must come to an end. You also know that I'm no good at speeches, so I'll keep this brief. After all the years I've spent with you here... I can honestly say that I think of you as my family. I'm going to miss all of you, but before the fair closes, we've got one last week of business, and during this time, I want you to give all the very best of yourselves so that the public will never forget us. So before going back to work, here's the list of our jo of jobs for the week. Roger, cleaner of the aquarium, Alice, kitchen, Tom, pest control, Martha, responsible for the keys to the place, uh, keep upkeep of the rail and cages uh, H. Ferguson okay alright we were going to um, okay let me look at the notes from the fun fair Here it is. Uh, if we can weaken the reservoir of feet, if the explosives, for example, will collapse and take the building down. Um, uh, okay, yeah, that's right. We want to take out the warehouse. Alright, stop wasting time. Okay, we just came from that way, so we're going on this way. I'm up in front of me here. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought I'd go in there for once. Okay, here's the... Can we get around there? Oh, I can. Let me know. Merrick around. for a while. But really, ooh, there's something. Look, Holmes, there appears to be some sort of control panel. With an antenna, whatever its purpose might be. Maybe that's his, he will produce some kind of signal to tell everybody to... Okay, can't go any further. And what's this? Was there a phone somewhere? I'm going to a certain building. Let's look around a little bit here. These caravans must be inhabited. Look, there is smoke coming out of one of them. Mm -hmm. okay, let's look this here. stall is a washroom. I can see water basins inside. The door can be blocked from the outside. Interesting. The door could be blocked from the outside. Oh, the gambling in there, that's why. Okay. Gallons of vodka. Okay, playing mahjong or something. Apparently, like. they are more interested in games than in cleanliness. Okay. Nothing over here. Clean the ceiling, no.
I still have the fire, so it's sort of interesting. Okay, well, I can hear noises. Say. We aren't alone. We had best be careful. Okay. What do you think, Holmes? We should be more quiet. No. <laughs> Take a look in the window here. Oh, see, there's a ladder. I meant. Look, here Holmes, the three Russian brothers with a coal stove and dynamite. What should we do next, Holmes? And then the dynamite would be very useful for blowing up the tank. Good idea. Yeah. But in order that we can get it, we'll have to get them out of there without their knowing we are here. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. Okay. That's more like it. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, it is the chimney pipe. It has been cut. Interesting. Why? It is the chimney pipe. Okay, I mean, we can restore it. This ladder can... is only held back by a bolt. This Any ladder. On it? Okay. Well. Don't think I get up to this the ladder reasons. is only held back by a bolt. Hmm. Okay, so closed. Okay, can't get in there. Oh, this one opens up, huh? All right, we're in a little, we're in a little caravan area here. A little. Uh, let's see what this is. Propaganda tract. Comrades, the exploiters are thirsty. They want blood. I have no doubt about it. They never waste an opportunity to place their yokes upon the necks of the working classes. Against us are the revolutionary social laws. All the middle class forces. Police, army, mag magistracy, government. But with us, comrades, we have the invincible will of international, re international revolutionaries. Wherever we might, let us strike the imperialist henchmen. Let us return blow for blow. The revolution lives in terror, and by terror, and by terror, let the people's justice be fulfilled. An international anarchist's manifesto written in several languages. Hmm. Just anarchists A in metal general. metal plate. Very solid. So they were terrorists? Is that what you're saying? Just <laughs> so much terrorist even back then, huh? Okay. A wanted poster in Russian, with the portraits of the three brothers on it. Uh -huh. What is this? Is it an ashtray? Oh, metal plate. Okay. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. Let's go outside. Let's look over here. Okay. I guess this is the left. Okay, no. Not, huh? Thought that was the place I could go into, but I guess not. Uh, let's see. Can I do something with the metal plate? I could smoke them out by blocking the pipe, but the air in the caravan would take several minutes before becoming unbreathable. The effect must be immediate and a total surprise. No. Oh, okay. So. Maybe we could... Uh, this ladder. Some banging sounds or something exploding or maybe the dynamite's going off or something? Or? It is best not... Okay. Can't go into the caravan once occupied. Okay, what could I do with... Apparently they are more... Maybe I get... Apparently... No, stop looking at that. Gallons of vodka. Difference if I clean the plate. No, the middle. Okay. Okay. Apparently there's. Oh, there's more to this place. Okay. There's a whole back area here. And there's a whole house down there. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Let's take a look up here. There's a door. Looks. Like, oh, it opens. Okay. All right. 
This oh. place must have been magnificent. Shh, Watson, look on the stage. Prince Woodville. What's he doing? There's a bunch of dummies around him, so he's pretending to act in front of an audience. Uh. And it is with an immense pride that I take possession of the attributes of the crown and swear in front of you to serve my people with... Gentlemen, who are you? I don't believe I know you. We... Not as oh, yet, your royal highness, but I am overjoyed that you are familiar with the crowning ceremony. Of course. A good king should know it. That makes my duty so very much easier. Let me introduce myself. My name is Howard Sawbury, and I am in charge of the aforementioned protocol and the master of ceremonial events at Buckingham Palace. Um, yes, and I'm Sir John Cannard, in charge of... of the peacocks in the Royal Gardens. Congratulations, Sir John. Excellent imagination. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, gentlemen, but what brings you here? Do you mean to say that no one has informed you? Have you not been in the city? It is Queen Victoria, of course. She has been dethroned. Really? So soon? Well, according to my special advisor, Professor Moriarty, that should not take place until a few days from now. The people have decided otherwise, sir, and now they're calling for their new sovereign, the benevolent, most understanding Prince Woodville. Ah, gentlemen, you bring me great news. My good people have carried out their duty. I can finally take my rightful place, and happily before the bombs detonated. Oh, so he knows about them, huh? Actually, yeah. sir, we're here to warn you that you are in grave danger. What do you mean? Among your close advisors, I regret there are traitors who are already plotting against you. We have reliable information that these terrorists are part of an international anarchist network, and... Ah, gentlemen, I know who you are talking about. I'm sure you mean the strange gentleman employed by Professor Moriarty. Asians or, uh... Russians, sir. Whatever. These men must be stopped before <laughs> their bombs explode. Their bombs? Yes, Sir John. Bombs placed all over London. I was not at all fond of the idea, but Professor Moriarty was quite adamant. Do you know where these bombs are precisely? Of course not. Uh, but I do know that those anarchists created their exploding devices here. You must tell us everything that you know about the bombs, sir. Why should I? You're not a pyrotechnist, are you? I must speak urgently with Professor Moriarty. Okay. <clears throat> um, I have three things. I, I have a dialogue tree here, and it says bomb in a theater. Moriarty betrayed you. Let's warn Moriarty. Well, if we say let's warn him, we could. No, I don't know if we're ready to meet him at the exact moment. Well, knowing everything that's going on, let's say there's a bomb in a theater. Sir, these men, the Russian anarchists, I heard them plotting against you. They want to blow up the theater, and you with it. That is madness. Why would they do that? Tell us everything that you know about the bombs, for we must defuse the one that is hidden here. I have not moved from here since I arrived, and no one apart from you has entered the theater. You are lying. Or you are their accomplices. No, 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 no. We'll we most out. certainly are not. That is enough. <clears throat> Leave me. What? No, 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 no. Okay, I could either say Moriarty betrayed you or let's warn Moriarty. Okay, we don't want to speak to Moriarty. Let's say he betrayed him. They are dangerous anarchists who have committed murderous acts in their own country against the Tsar's line. That is impossible. But the professor assured me of their loyalty. Moriarty does not require you anymore, sir. He does not wish to give you the throne. He desires it for himself. The devil. Sir, we are going to help you. You must tell us where the bombs are planted. The people will never forget a sovereign who began his reign by saving his subjects from such atrocities. I confess that I do not know where they are. Uh, but surely the Russian anarchists must know. What do the bombs look like? They appear very complicated. It is impossible to defuse them. I remember that they were put together here, in a wooden stall between two tents, next to the Russian caravans. They were the only ones who had a key, besides that traitor Moriarty, of course. We're going to try to open that stall. Wait, I, I demand an explanation. If everyone is plotting against me, then how do I know that you are not also party to the plot? But we... 
Bring me Professor Moriarty, Mr. Sorbury, without delay. Sir John will remain here with me. What? I should be able to remove the prince without endangering Watson's life. I should be able to remove the So I have to... Okay, he's got Hive Watson hostage. No, I cannot leave Watson alone with this madman. How am I supposed to... what? I should be able to remove... Okay, I should be able to... I should be able to remove... Okay, what am I doing here? I should be able to remove the prince without endangering Watson's life. What? Well, how? I should be able to remove... It won't let me move from this position. So I should be able to rem I should be able to oh, I gotta throw the <laughs> throw the plate at him or something or what? I should be able to remove the prince without endangering Watson's life. Fine. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. Okay, here's something. Really? That's what stopped me? Huh. The velvet rope? Okay. <laughs> There is a label underneath this lever. Magician's trap door, middle of the stage. Exactly where the prince is standing. No, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. These tangled ropes are holding back the curtains. No, no. <laughs> a puzzle. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? I have to what, untape? Well, what are the instructions here? There aren't any. Okay. I'm doing here, but uh... okay, I'm gonna make them all red. I'll make them all white, I guess. Or... Okay, what's the um. Make them all non red, I guess. Here we go. Ah. And then pull the trap door lever. He's not moving. <laughs> he appears to have passed out. But he what? could come around at any moment and sound the alarm. Just tie him up. Yes, before leaving the theater, we must make certain that that does not happen. Not so long ago, those words coming from you would have frozen my blood. Rest assured, my friend, that Sherlock Holmes no longer exists. Get rid of him now. Okay. Hey, presto, it's magic. No more paranoid prints. <laughs> well done, Holmes. Look, Holmes. Prince Woodville lost his ring during the fight. So, let me get that. But that's all. That, that's all we did to make sure he doesn't say anything. Was to. What were these dummies at the front of the stage used for? The prince put them there to represent his public. <laughs> okay, let's get that ring. 
There is an enormous diamond in the middle of this ring. I will give it to the police later. We must find the anarchist's bombs, Holmes. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, let's uh let's look around here for any traps. Uh -huh. This cool. magician has a leather belt, very solid. There is a small bag attached to it. Okay. Magician dummy. Uh, let me see if there's if any other dummies have cool stuff on them. Let's take a look. Not that one. Maybe this one. Oh, this one. Or these two. No. <laughs> okay. Nice uh, lighting effects going on here. The shadows and the lights. Okay. Alright, that's it, I guess. Let me see that. Let's see, diamond ring. And magician's belt. Okay. Is there anything over here? Just want to make sure there's nothing over here. Okay, nope. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we didn't even tie up the guy. We just <laughs> threw him through the trap door. Let him fall through the trap door, and that's it. Oh, well. If he fainted just from the curtain, then falling through the trap door should make him knock him out for like ages. Alright. Now, I said between the, the stall, the wooden stall, between two stalls next to the Russian. Uh, I oh. pity the people who must have risked their lives in this attraction. What is this? Super giant? What? That's not like a cannon people could explode out of, is it? Oh, it's a nice giant slide. It looks really bad. Yeah, I don't really trust any of these attractions. They look all terrible. <clears throat> I wonder, you know, back in the day, People must have gone on, have gone on rides and stuff like this, and just totally risking their lives. Right now, at least we have like superconductors and you know, different types of metal and stuff, and everything is just like some wood, you know. <laughs> and the people running them were just, you know. Okay, I'm gonna look over this building here. See what's going on. I can hear noises. We aren't alone. We had best be careful. Holmes, our priority now is to blow up the tank in the factory to stop the distribution of the soup. Of course, Watson. Okay. I'm just want to check over here, Watson, and see what's going on. See if there's any clues here. Okay, I guess not. Go back. Okay, to the stall. Okay, so there was a wooden stall. Oh, that's the freak show. Oh, I'm going backwards. Here we go. Okay. So the wooden stall next to the Russians' place. Okay. The Russian place, the wooden stall between two stalls, he said. Maybe here, I don't know. Must be here in the gambling one. No? No, I guess not. I thought maybe there would be out with the vodka. No, okay, I guess not. Gallons of vodka. Okay. Apparently, they're. There's a lot going the games. They're in that stall, so it must be this one. I mean, there is no one here, and nothing very interesting. Well, this is the stall that they were talking about, so I have to imagine. Closed. Can I try use anything to open it? Closed. Closed. What about the pliers? 
Okay, still closed. We must find the anarchist bombs homes. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna stall between two. Oh, okay, the store opens. Oh, we were in here before. the Russians uh, sleeping quarters I guess or is that the no, where the Russians are right now I guess that's the place no I can't do that be made. I can't huh no I can't do that okay obviously I no I can't do here. that no I can't do that okay so let me see if I can rig up the Russians thing so I could get out so I could get them out of that tent the caravan thing. It is the chimney pipe. It has been cut. Interesting. Oh, okay, let me get right. Hold on, let me see if I can mix up stuff together. Okay. Let me know what was that. There we go. I used the pocket knife on the leather belt. I got the magician's powder and leather belt. What? What is the? Can I mix the magician's powder with anything, or the leather belt, or anything? Okay, I guess not. Let me see the illusionist again. smoke powder. Ah, there we go. Abracadabra. Now what? Do I, light I need something. Okay. Uh, I need something. I need something. Okay, there we go. Magic powder and a metal plate. The revolutionaries won't resist it. Hide, Watson. Uh, okay, here we go. Water, water. The way is clear. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Watson. Oh wait, how are we supposed to get in there? Oh, smoke? This smoke is disgusting. I can understand why the brothers charged out of here. It's a real torture. Quick, let's shut the three brothers up in the washroom. Oh, okay. Okay, they're in the washroom. Good, there we go. Perfect. I can hear the chinking of a bottle and talk in Russian. The three brothers are quietly getting drunk. Perfect. <laughs> we must hurry, Holmes. Each chime tells us that the preparation of the poison soup is advancing. I'm oh, coming, Watson. Okay. I just need to unblock the chimney. Okay. It's it's just funny that like they're locked in the room and the first thing they do is what? They decide to get drunk again? <laughs> decide to get drunk? Well, we take it out. Might as well start drinking. I said they didn't even check the door. They just turned around and started drinking without even checking. Okay, let's go in here now. This caravan is as disgusting as the first one. All right. A bit of smoke going on here, but... A Russian-English dictionary. Excellent. Wire. Okay, some wire. Oh, the old posters and the like. They really look good. This piece of art shows the hatred the anarchists feel towards Prince Woodville and everything he represents. <laughs> it's pretty good little hanging little hanging guy with a little crown. Apparently they don't like the prince at all. Okay, the dynamite shells are empty. A pity. Well, can we make something out of them? So we have here letter to the anarchists your peddlers of freedom must be placed as soon as possible on the following targets peddlers, peddlers of freedom okay there's some Russian there I have no idea how to read that so the names of the targets are written in Russian and are unreadable in my case, that is. And apparently the brothers have made notes before every name. 
This list has something to do with the dictionary open on the table. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's see what this is first. A small saw. We might need this. Excellent. Let's go back to the dictionary. Let's see. Really? Okay, they're gonna make me actually. Okay. English, English dictionary. This should be interesting. Wow, do I really have to translate? That's not right. Wow. I'm literally gonna have to uh, get the actual letters. That's pretty interesting. They're gonna make me actually. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. Looks like an N. What is that letter? Oh, that's an L. Okay. Checking this just to make sure. Okay, so the A is an A, B is a B. Okay. Apparently there are two B's. <laughs> Except if it's that's an then it's an R. Okay, it's another weird looking A. It's a G apparently. E is a C. Okay, that's all right. That's backwards N. Pi symbol. <laughs> yes, that's actually funny. I like this. Uh, here we go. No, let's. Uh, I wonder if I can actually find the word here. That would be really interesting. Navata means. Let's see here if it's. Okay. Further down this list here. <sighs> oh. Okay, you know what I can do is I can. I can look here and replace letter for letter, but that's going to take a while. I'll actually have to use an actual. Can't really do that, can I? Because they don't translate directly like that. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, what I will do is I will stop here and I will go over it by hand with a notebook. And I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> okay, that'll take a little while, I think. First, okay. First letter looks like an L, I guess. No, no, maybe not, because that's an F. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to, okay. I'll have to use an actual notebook and do this. So, okay, I'll call it quits for now. This is nice. Uh, nice. This is actually sort of interesting. I'd really like to see this. This would be interesting to learn the Russian words and stuff. So, I'm gonna take the time to do that. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm Buddy Sims. I hope you have a uh, rest of your morning, day, evening, whatever it is for you. I uh, hope, it, hope it's good. And, and I hope things are okay for you. So uh, hopefully you're just enjoying this and sitting back and relaxing. So um, I'll say goodbye for now and hopefully you join me again next time. So goodbye.